can I suggest something? Let's try yeah. that. Yeah. Aspirational. All of it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> when we were talking about the VR interface and it being like a Google Maps Street View, I was wondering like, what if the topology of the map, which, which you could, if that came along in the metaphor, like if that was the inside of a torus, which is kind of like that um, experiment they did recently. The animation showed like a rat running along on the inside of a flowing torus. And it's, it's these findings actually in the brain, the torus attractors. It's, it's how we actually map space. And um, I was just thinking like, if that's how we experience the world, our environment um, spatially, then there's like this opposite side of the torus that is is lesser known to us. But then by degrees, um, as you move in closer, um, we're more aware of it. Yeah, um, I like toruses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the uh, uh, there's, yeah. This, there's this program. Anyways, uh, and I haven't dug into it that much, but there's like uh, this whole like um, I, I forgot exactly what like uh, set set of files files that yeah. allow you to like access like these uh, um, data sets or whatever. But anyways, and they do all these like simulations of like advanced geometry and or um, organic like simulations of organic like growth or whatever. Like, I, I use, like, uh, and I talked to actually within the vacuum about this stuff before, but I shared a link, I think it's in Decoding the Weird, where I think it's called Tung Tungus? Tung I forgot whatever it's called, but anyways, it has the Taurus, and it's exactly like that, where you go into it, and then, like, if you go in the middle, it, like, loops back on itself. <laughs> it's pretty cool, like, uh, just exploring the thing, but... Well, if if I understand it right, you like okay. So say we want to like embed that same simulation into say Mind's gaming site, right? And so like we embed it there, but like from there, I'm thinking like, how do we manipulate it to where we put like our visuals in it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like I, I want to, I want to put like a mandala in there, and then like we have these like <laughs> loopy things of like the Dreamtime tiles. You yeah, know what I mean? <laughs> more uh, realistically speaking, uh -huh. um, you could also visualize a sphere by the the same set of methods that I would, you know, recommend for mapping it as a sphere. You know, it's it's like uh, the they're, they're both the same thing it's as i'm thinking of it right now like questions are kind of central as the basic semantic act of everything and it's that thing that um arthur young talks about in part four of that with the um popol vuh i may be interested in doing a mandala of that but it's basically this uh narrowing down of the dimensions until it's like light becomes uh, subatomic particles uh, which becomes particles, atoms, molecules and then molecules is this turning point and from then on it's uh, sort of self-organizing to plant, vegetable, mineral it's like this hourglass and that's the torus which um, in like active inference terms, uh, you could call it a, a Markov channel. That's a question, just as we would normally think of it. But that question just being the compression of this wave that's continuous, right? There is also the possibility to measure it from bottleneck to bottleneck. And that we could call an inquiry or a Markov balloon so it's like an iteration of it but it's it's just a matter if we want to uh, sort of map the bulge that's your uh, spherical version you could use for the VR 
or you know the other was just hypothetical the it's, it's forest like the, it's like the most effective way of uh fulfill the field yeah you know yeah. Like, it's, it's the 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 idea of the toroidal structure is about simplicity so what what gets interesting is when you use that principle to create very complex things and that's that's the beauty that's what we see in nature that's what we see in this reality right everything is a toroid you know it's like toroids everywhere we, we're like immersed in little bigger tiny middle <laughs> toroids you know like everywhere so <laughs> it's just the way it is built it's, it's very very convinced look at us <laughs> I'm convincing <laughs> like emotions there are many instances of emotion that like there are many instances of our species in every species inside etc it reminds me about the holographic uh, theory also maybe we're we're just uh, projections from other <laughs> place uh and <laughs> Yeah, that's that's great. You know, like that's uh, like the starting point, you know, to realize and and start to rediscover the world and get amazed again about the simplest thing. You know, <laughs> like you know, a piece of bread or whatever, like makes you feel, oh, man, this is great. You know, friends. <laughs> You know, um, <laughs> earlier today I, I was watching um, Party Down, and in the newest episode is they they do shrooms at their um, at their job, right? New ways to collapse the traditional boundaries. Well, I, it's it's an appetizer. Are you high on weed? <laughs> no. I don't do drugs. Ha ha! Here we go. And then <laughs> they did actually a pretty good job of like uh, I, I would say of like the, the the shroom logic of the show. Like okay, so they're it like I, what I liked about it too is like they didn't do like um, like these cartoonish like visuals, but it was like okay, so it shows everybody, and then they slowly like start to like get like really silly. It's like they burn on fire. There's a bush down there. What? No, it has a silo of its own. And then they get worried about this one person who who's doing shrooms for the first time, and they're like, "Oh, I, I'm gonna go like watch them and make sure they're okay." And then, what do you think? That sounds crazy. Why do you think that? Because we're on mushrooms. You're on mushrooms? No. no. He's speaking of how sex. Shit. He was there, and then I looked at a bush, and then he wasn't there. Oh. Oh, God, I lost Saxon. Uh, isn't he doing a live stream? Right. He should be right here. Ah, oh, damn. So, uh, current update. I'm in a blue tube of consciousness. He's in a blue tube of consciousness. Yeah, what the fuck, fuck is that? Time, and I'm, I'm probably a bird. Bird. Let's take a look at these numbers. Oh, they keep going up. Oh, wait, I know where he is. Where? Right. Can you watch the bar, please? Can do, boss. Come on, follow me. Get out of the good shit. She comes back and she's telling the story about how she lost the guy. And she's like, and I saw this bush. And you know, like, it was really a good bush. And he's like... And then the guy that was on shrooms, he's like, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> like, it made total sense to him. Like, of course, you had to, you had to stop and, like, commune with the bush. <laughs> it's better than it used to. She was like, yeah, the bush was really cool. <laughs> it was so funny. Yeah. Yeah. I think some people was, do kind of theorize that Moses was on mushrooms, though. Like, yeah. I remember that. That was the first uh, insight 
quote I ever thought of, like a tree stump in a parking lot. It was unimitatable. It's utterly unique in the pattern of everything. Focus there to be itself. I didn't see only one like it. And it's just that um thereness, like the um the tetragrammaton. I am what I am. I I actually used that um in my twenties. I, I wrote I wrote an essay on it. I don't know if you read that Satori. I should um post it. I guess yeah. I'm gonna talk about it. But um the the Baku like potentially I could see that being like another powerful mythic entity because I've I, I've kind of worked with that be, before a little bit so it, it's challenging though and um, I was thinking too about like um, the mandalas you've been putting out um, with the space in them or I guess other people could um, sign on or a uh, you know become the wave but in listening to uh the um the emerald episode with the uh, tyson young Porter on it one of the best uh interviews i've heard with him the second one on pattern mind kinship so forth he he just kept talking about stories and um joshua michael trail asked him like what's the difference between a, a QAnon shaman today hallucinating his way inside the capital. Yeah. And then, you know, the the real thing, like uh, just the, the indigenous, every person just living, seeing it pattern everywhere. And, uh, Tyson Young Caporto just said, like, well, basically there's good story, there's bad story, you know. And, like in, in the Western culture, we love to run against the evil, and then we have something to unite against. Actually, the the concept behind behind the the vacuum, from my personal perspective, and and to be within the vacuum, is to allow yourself to build again the world. You know, like. Uh, it's it's in a way allow yourself yourself to die and rebuild your world again, and that's why you know you choose the most intelligent way to do it, which is nature and following the the pattern that nature is show, showing you of how to flow with 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 what you are, you know, in the vacuum. Uh, actually, I remember one, uh, yeah, one friend once told me about this place where it was like completely muted place, and he felt like he could could feel his blood and and internal organs <laughs> and everything because it was like so muted, <laughs> and you know like. The, the vacuum allowed allowed us to to listen to to ourselves to observe ourselves and and from there start to rebuild the world in a way right? when do you think is the best time to remember to meditate because I forget to meditate and then I get hung up on beginning to meditate. Should I meditate? Sunrise? I should find. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I should find. Yeah, I, know, I, I think know. what's supporting it for uh, what uh, I, what I keep on getting more towards for my own self is like uh, develop my own like rhythms. So you know, like uh, for me, like I guess like the morning, like I meditate, but like my meditation is is is. Um, like not not formal at all, <laughs> you know. What I mean? Like it's like my own like, yeah. fucking brew of um, becoming present and focusing on what I, what I want to focus on, and then like, or even working on what I want to work on. Um, like later, like like if like I told you guys before, like in my early twenties, I went like really 
Well, I'll use my own like like language, like hardcore on like the dreaming stuff and like getting like really into like like the practice and like meditating and reading and all this kind of stuff. And then like I I went I went like in my own like words or something. I went like too far into like all of that. And then like to where I am now is like I still have like all of those like um like skill sets, but it, for me it's it's more of like letting the organic like rhythms arise without like trying so hard <laughs> and like like for me now it's like okay I'll, uh just to be open and when when my when i when i'm ready for the message of like some crazy dream it's gonna happen and it's gonna happen when when it's gonna happen not like before i guess in my 20s i was like searching for for that <laughs> i don't know yeah and like uh um, and i always find like the the it happening in my own sense organic as the like the the more meaningful and stranger ones like the ones that happen like at, like a bolt from the blue like you know <laughs> um, 